technology deployment methods for nationwide and international multi-site projects. Presented by Concert Technologies. This video will examine the deployment method that exists within the rollout services model, the second part of the technology rollout system. It will provide criteria for evaluating the deployment method used in the industry in order for you to choose the right method for your nationwide or international technology project. Subsequent parts of the technology rollout system are detailed in additional videos in our series. The deployment method is a subset of the rollout services model. The deployment method determines how technology rollout services are deployed to each site, which includes the number of field technicians required as well as how many truck rolls are needed to deploy services at the site level. For explanation purposes, an example of multi-service deployment is a Category 1 rollout that requires a router, switch, DMARC extension, and shipping and configuration of the equipment. For reference, a Category 1 rollout consists of a one day or less time frame compared to the longer time frames of Category 2 and 3. The following information is based on a technology rollout company's management and technical support of on-site field technicians, which includes the dissemination of requirements and relay of technical knowledge for multi-site, multi-service technology rollouts. There are four primary deployment methods used for nationwide and international technology rollouts. Each deployment method is evaluated in terms of the number of truck rolls or dispatches, speed of deployment, communication speed and accuracy, labor costs, and the availability of technicians for site revisits. In the first deployment method, local multi-service, the technology rollout company minimizes the number of local field technicians to deploy multiple services in as few truck rolls as possible. Each technician specializes in multiple services and is managed and supported by the technology rollout company. As the number of truck rolls or dispatches is one of the single biggest cost factors in a nationwide or international rollout, this deployment method allows for lower project costs due to the minimized number of technicians and consequent truck rolls required. The deployment speed is maximized and there is a high level of communication accuracy and speed due to fewer technicians needed and minimized scheduling requirements. For this same reason, labor costs are minimized. Additionally, the availability of technicians for any necessary site revisits is high because the local multi-service deployment method allows for redundancy versus a specialized technician who may not be available in the future. In the single-service multi-resource deployment method, the technology rollout company uses multiple local field technicians. Each technician specializes in a single service. Compared to the local multi-service, this deployment method has low deployment and communication speed and accuracy because it has more technicians required for all services. This means more people to pay as well as more to communicate with and an increased risk of scheduling conflicts or no-shows. When using the non-local service deployment method, the technology rollout company uses a single group of technicians as its field force. These non-local technicians travel to each site from a central location. Each technician may or may not specialize in multiple services. While it has a minimized number of dispatches, the primary downside of the non-local service deployment method is that deployment speed is low because of time required for travel. Additionally, labor is priced higher due to travel costs and the availability to revisit site locations is low as the technicians are not located near each site location. In the hybrid deployment method, a number of variations of the three basic methods may exist, each with their own advantages and disadvantages. In this example, the criteria for evaluation has mixed pros and cons, as it is a combination of the other three deployment methods. In conclusion, it is important to first determine if the technology rollout company utilizes a defined technology rollout system for deployment of projects. Then, you should examine the technology rollout company's deployment method in addition to parts 1, 3, and 4 in order to decide if it is the right fit for your project. Please see our additional videos for explanations of the other parts of the technology rollout system. For more videos about the technology rollout system of methodologies and nationwide and international technology rollouts, visit us online at www.concerttech.com. Select Video Library under the Resources tab.